Hey y'all, welcome to the Crafty Cove. My name's Missy. Today we have a collaboration video with Devin at the Freckled Mom, and this is totally boho vibes. So we're gonna talk about that in just a little while, but first let's get right into the DIYs. DIY number one. So y'all know I'm a farmhouse girl. Love my farmhouse decor, but Devin and I wanted to do something a little different. So we're gonna go for boho. So. This is my interpretation of boho. Y'all let me know what you think. So the first thing we're gonna use is two of these garden stakes that they had at the Dollar Tree. We're just gonna take off the stickers, all the hardware, and we're also going to take off the stake. Now, we are going to paint um, the inside of this because we're gonna stack these. So on one of them, we wanna paint that back side, which is actually going to be the front top side. You know, I'll know what I mean. But anyway, we're gonna get that painted up with one coat of Waverly chalk paint and ink. And then we're going to take some 20 millimeter beads that I got off of Amazon. I'll try to find the link and leave that down in my description box. And we're just going to put these beads all the way around this circle. I don't know any other way to say that. <laughs> y'all see, you'll just, you'll see what I'm doing. But you can see right there, we go all the way around the circle. This is so, so, so simple but I love the way it turns out. So we're just gonna go all the way around the circle. And there's a little bit of a space right there on that last one because I tried to butt them all up together, but it, it, there wasn't room for two more like I really needed. Now I'm gonna take my Aileen's Tacky Glue from the Dollar Tree and some scrapbook paper that I got at Hobby Lobby. I just this pattern just made me think boho. I'm not sure why, but it just did. So we just glue that down and then we take our uh, finger sander and we just go through and sand off all those edges. Now we are going to take our hot glue gun and we are going to put hot glue all over the tops of these beads and we're going to glue that other one, the one we put the paper on, right on top. So this is just gonna be a little riser. Now we're gonna take that little brain teaser game from the Dollar Tree and I just cut four pieces off of there and we're just going to glue those right in to be our legs. Now I decided to leave those and the beads natural because I thought first of all I love the natural look. Second of all I was kind of trying to mix patterns which in my opinion is what boho is. Isn't that cute y'all? I think it turned out so adorable. Again super super easy and you have a piece that you can use to display anything and i i just think it's adorable so again today's collaboration is with devin over at freckled mom y'all i just adore her she is the sweetest thing and she is so funny and she's a new kid on the block lover just like me so we get along perfectly but she has so many different farmhouse DIYs on her channel. She's got a video how to make a bow and I'm definitely going to go watch that because y'all know I cannot save make a bow to save my life. So y'all make sure that you go over and visit Devin on her channel. Subscribe to her channel. Like her videos. Let her know that Missy from the Crafty Cove sent you. I promise y'all will not be disappointed. She's amazing. I love her projects and I love her personality. We have become instant friends and i'm so tickled for that okay on to diy number two now i'm going to give you a warning this is a little messy but it, that's not the warning we use these what are these called splatter screens now i got the ones with the hand with the little handle in the middle instead of the ones with the handle at the top and y'all oh, i thought this was going to be easy oh my goodness it is easy but y'all be careful because this stuff will hurt you <laughs> so of course no screwdriver around so i take my scissors and i unscrew that little knob move all that hardware now i take there's a little hole in the middle so i take my scissors and i go in and i cut all the way around to get this screen out now y'all have to remember this is like metal or whatever this is this screen and it hurts when it when it jabs you trust me so I go through with my little uh, clipper things here 
and I try to get out all of the pieces of this wire that I can and I get a lot out I tried to just push it down in there that did not work so I get all of it out that I can now y'all I want you to look at this and look how crazy I am because this is metal here's all those pieces I got out now what do I do I decided to scrape it with my hand to scrape it into my other hand to throw it in the garbage not a smart idea because I had little slivers everywhere but I did get them out so just be careful if you do that now we're just taking two of these circle pieces of uh, foam mine came from the Dollar Tree and we are going to paint one side of each and we are going to paint the outside part like the outside rim and you see that little paper there I was going to use that that scrapbook paper there cut in a circle I was gonna use that but then I changed my mind because I you know boho vibes that gives me boho vibes but then again I thought well maybe maybe some florally you know but y'all see that in a minute but anyway we just go ahead and paint each one side of each of those circles and the outside rim now I've picked this like viney greenery paper and I'm just going to mod podge that right on the top of each the the tops the sides that were not painted on these I do one on each y'all see how much mod podge I did oh <sighs> and so I had to use it and put it over on the other one so we're just gonna quickly mod podge those down and then we're gonna go around and cut off the excess now my angle has flipped a little bit here because I had some filming issues well I had iPad and phone issues but anyway we're getting it done so now I'm taking my box cutter and I'm going to cut a little slit in the middle of this because my, I want my circle to stand up there so I cut down the middle and then I dig a lot of that styrofoam out it does try to rip my paper so I have to be very careful I probably should have done that before I put my paper down but y'all know me I do things the hard way then we're taking gobs of hot glue y'all and I mean gobs and we're gonna glue that down in there now we're gonna take even more hot glue and secure it in there because we want this to hang to stand up now we just take a little glass candle holder from the Dollar Tree all this is from the Dollar Tree except that scrapbook paper and we glue that right on top then I take some of this uh, string yarn I don't know what it is I got it out of a little macrame kit from Walmart that I could not do I tried and it did not work so I decided to use it for this so I go around the bottom part of the candle holder and now I am wrapping it around the circle and I put a little glue here and there just to secure it into place and you like that right there sorry I tried to change my angle so y'all could see it a little bit better because this is a bigger piece and it was hard to get it all get it all in frame so now that we've got that done we're taking this greenery that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to glue this around that candle holder. You see, I just burnt myself. But anyway, I'm going to glue it around that candle holder. And that uh, rope there that I have around there is perfect to, because it's hard sometimes to get the hot glue to stick to glass. So actually what I'm doing is I'm gluing it to that rope instead of to the glass. I hope that makes sense. And I just put two pieces, one on each side. And it just like wraps around it and I love how this turned out this was the project that this was my first project that I wanted to do for the boho and y'all this was so much harder than what I thought it would be but I love how this turned out and I made two of these so each and everything everything for the second is the exact same way as the first I really think it turned out great I'm not a flower person like I can't arrange flowers so y'all ignore my little attempt at making a flower arrangement but aren't those cute they turned out so much better than i thought they would y'all let me know down in the comments what you think about them if you like them okay y'all diy number three now this is one of those that gave me some trouble too and i did 50 million different things to it before i actually decided what to do to it and again y'all this is my interpretation of boho i think boho as florally and uh, different patterns and different materials put together and different color I don't know that that's just my interpretation but anyway I take two of these uh, rectangles from the Dollar Tree and I just 
uh, paint around the outside of those. Not Don't worry about the insides. Just around the edges. And two dowel rods. And I paint those. Those are also from the Dollar Tree. I paint those. And all this is done in uh, Waverly Chalk Paint and Ink. Now I'm going to take my Aileen's Tacky Glue that I got from the Dollar Tree that I love. Thank you, Jackie, from Bless Beyond Measure because I saw you do it in a video and I like it more than Mod Podge. I still use my Mod Podge, but I love the Aileen's. So anyway, and then I just take this scrapbook paper from the Hobby Lobby, get it down on there, and we are going to glue these two together. Now you can see my pattern is off. I didn't even think about that when I was cutting these pieces out, but that doesn't bother me in the least bit. So we glue these two together. Now there's my pretty little toy that my husband got me for my birthday. I'm just using it to cut down my dowel rods to the size I need. Now I'm going to hang this love sign on my dowel rods. So I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue up at the top of the dowel rod and stick it in that little circle and then a little bit down there at the bottom or midway just to tack it down on there. Now y'all can use super glue e6000s whatever you want to use but this hot glue has given me zero trouble it has stayed so i wasn't worried about it but you can see there what i'm doing to get it to hold and it's just a little bitty dab of hot glue now we're going to glue it to this board these boards i just put hot glue on the bottoms and then i stick it down now y'all need to hold that <laughs> until it dries because if not it's going to go everywhere and now you're going to see that i use more hot see it just fell on me sorry about the gray hair shot but i use more hot glue just to reinforce it and we're going to cover that up so you don't even notice it now up here around the top we're taking some white yarn from the dollar tree and we're just wrapping it around the tops now i'm going to take this is where we're going to cover up that hot glue we're going to take these moss co covered stones and y'all gonna see my tongue come out quite a bit in this because when i concentrate i stick my tongue out but anyway i just glue those right there to those dowel rods now we're going to take some fern that i got from the dollar or no 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 i got this from walmart for 97 cents and it is gorgeous beautiful i love it and i just start gluing it to the back of the stones there the moss covered stones but you all know they're not stones they're just foam and thank God for that because we're going to need that foam here in just a little while. <laughs> but anyway, we're just, I'm just gluing a whole bunch of these ferns to the back of each one of the moss, foam, stone, whatever you want to call it. And I'm getting glue all over me. So we get that down. Y'all, I'm trying a new glue gun out that was sent to me for free. And I really love the glue gun, but I do not like the glue sticks because they are so stringy. So I gotta find a some new glue sticks for that. But anyway, I'm gonna talk about more about that glue gun in a later video. So we get all of our fern on there the way that we want it. And you don't see this from the front at all. Now I'm gonna take these dried flowers that I got from the Dollar Tree. Could not believe I found them. Went to one in a different town and found them and absolutely love them. And I just cut them apart and I just stick them down there into that foam sometimes you may need to poke a little hole in the foam for those to go in but mostly they just went it in pretty good now i'm going to take some hot glue and run around the edge of this sign or this wood this board whatever and we're going to put some more of that rope that i used earlier and we're going to go all the way around the edge of this piece front back and sides and again, this is my interpretation of boho, and it may not be for everyone, but I actually like how it turned out. My son my son loved it. My husband wasn't <laughs> so sure because it's not my style, and he knows that. And he just kind of looked at it like, oh, oh, uh, okay. But I think it turned out really cute, and I love the different textures with the pattern on the paper, the textures in the flower, the gold on the love sign and all that. I just think it all mixes really well together. So if you all like my work and would like to buy me a coffee, I'll have my link down into the in the description box and I appreciate all of your support. Okay y'all, DIY number four. Now, I went to Hobby Lobby and got this little beaded wreath. 
and I wanted to paint it like a mustard color, but I did not have any mustard paint. So I took some colors from Arteza and I cannot, I can't, I do know one of them's burnt sienna. Is that what it's called? I think. Burnt umber. I don't remember y'all. I'm going to try to figure that out and put that down in the description box what those colors are. I just mix them together and make my own little mustard cover color. Now I go through and I paint all these beads. I'm not going to make you watch it all because it takes me forever. I would love to spray paint. Y'all know I can't spray paint, especially on this part coming up because I am in a hotel. So I can't spray paint here. Now we're going to take this hello sign. Oh my good gravy, y'all. I had to paint this thing by hand and oh my goodness. It was awful. It took three coats of this is Arteza's uh, white acrylic paint and I do go through and I do three good coats all over this. I do paint even the words and the vines or that little embellishment whatever that is. I do go back over later and do those different colors but this did take me three good coats and it did take a while. I cannot wait to get home and be able to use my garage <laughs> and spray paint but anyway, we get the three good coats on there. Now we're taking that same color we used to do the beads with, and we are going to paint the part that says hello. Now I do get a little messy, and later I have to go back and do some touch-ups with the white and all of that. But now this part I wouldn't spray paint even if I could, you know, because the letters and all that. Well, maybe I'd take it off, spray paint it, and put it back on. I don't know. I'm going to figure out an easier way when I get home to do this, though. <laughs> But this hotel, you know, hotel life, that's what I'm in. Then I take some sage, I believe it is, from Waverly Chalk Paint. And I do those, like, vines or whatever you want to call those things in that color. And then I do go back through with my white and go through and touch up all those places where I got the colors on there. I will tell you all right now, this, I, I FaceTime my granddaughter every night. And I always show her what I did during the day. She's only two, y'all. But anyway, when she saw this, she said, mine, mine. And I said, oh, you want this? Yes, Nana, my room. So this is going in my grandbaby's room as soon as I get home. So I just stuck that sign right in the middle of that wreath there. And it made it kind of like a different shape than a circle. But it looked so good. And I just went ahead and glued it right on there. So, then we're going to take some more of that macrame, string, yarn, whatever, and I loop it over, and then I tie four knots in it, and I do this four times uh, for four different pieces, and I leave two beads between each rope. You're going to see it. It's, it's hard to explain that, y'all, but four knots on each piece after we get it looped over, and two beads between each. There they are all on there. Now, they're way too long, so we're going to cut them down. We're even going to cut them down even more here in a little while. Now, I'm going to take and I'm going to unfray each piece of this rope because I want it to be a lot fluffier than what it is. So, I unfray. Is that? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, I guess. Um, all four of these. Well, there's more than four pieces. All of these pieces. Let's just say that. I do that to every single piece. Now I take an old comb that I have and I'm going to comb it out and I needed a fine tip comb because then it would have done so much better but this worked for me and like I said the grandbaby loved it so that's all the acknowledgement that I needed. Then we're going to cut it down just a little bit more. So Mia this is for you. Nana made this for your bedroom and we'll put it up as soon as I get home in a couple weeks. I get to go home for a wedding and i'm so excited i can't wait just to get home <laughs> and for the wedding and to see my grandbabies so now we're going to take more of that yarn string whatever it is we're going to make a little hanger we're just going to tie i took two pieces i tie them right on there tie a knot there in the bottom come up a little bit tie another knot in the top not the top but you know y'all can see what i'm doing Right there about mid-waist, tie another knot right there, and this has become our hanger. And y'all, that's it. Super simple. You know, it would have helped if I could spray paint, but I'm not complaining. At least I still get to craft even on the road. 
So I hope you all enjoyed these projects. Again, this is my interpretation of boho and your interpretation may be completely different, but I hope you enjoyed them. Y'all let me know in the comments what your favorite project was and how you think I did on the boho style. Don't forget to go visit Devin y'all. She's amazing. You can also find me on Instagram where I can interact with you a little bit more. Or y'all can use my email and drop me a line anytime you'd like. Thank you so much for watching y'all. I love each and every one of you. Y'all come back now. You hear?